mine is still on the bus. So, you can take videos, you can take photos, but you no flash. No flash. Yes. Oh, perfect. Yes, my brother, greetings. Um, 13 left? 13? Yes, 13. Uh, 12 adults and one child. How old is this? Uh, the ch uh, my How son is nine years old. Nine? Right, son, we're in this Six Six Museum, and this is our revolutionary tour guide right here. And he says the right thing, so they weren't um, explorers, they were invaders and conquerors. I <laughs> love it, man. We should always correct incorrect information, so repeat thank you. Repeat what you just said. You didn't repeat. Oh, didn't I didn't get it. it. Go ahead, but more. Please repeat what you just said. No, first I'll have to introduce myself okay. in the right way. Yes, sir. Oh, absolutely. We'll, yes. do, we'll do that. Our brother's going to do a nice little introduction and... Molweni. Molweni is a closer way of greeting you, to say to you, welcome home. My name is Tando. I am from the Kosa tribe. And we as Kosas are known for the click in the language. Kosa is spelled with an X, and the X is pronounced similar to how you push on your horse. And a word with an X is Kolo. Kolo, meaning peace, as we don't have sorry in our vocabulary. Whenever we offend each other, we say Kolo. We have three clicks in the language, X, C, and Q. The C pronounced similar to how you clean your teeth. And a word with a C is P. P spelled C-I-C-I. P, P. What's your name? My name is Zena. Lena. Z, Zena. Zena. I would say to you, Zena. I'm a tripilaco lisle, which means Zena. Your earrings are beautiful. And then we have the Q, that is when you take the, your tongue to the top of the palate. And a word with a Q is Kuba. Kuba. It means to drive. So that when we speak about Brendan, we will say, Oh, Brendan, ya Kuba i bus. Brendan is driving the bus. We are the second largest tribe in South Africa, the largest being Zulu. And from our, from our tribe, we have names such as Nelson Mandela. Oliver Tambo, Robert Sabukwe, Steve Biko, mm. and of course Miriam Makeba. Miriam Makeba, those that is from Jamaican descent, will remember here um, her for being with a lady called, with a man called Harry Belafonte. Yes. And of course in 1965, she was banned. 1963, banned. she was banned from South Africa after addressing the United Nations. <coughs> highlighting the challenges uh, uh, that we as black people experience on the continent. And she was bad, and she was given refugee status in the United States, and she got married to a gentleman called Stokely Carmichael. Yes. And of Broken. course, it's during that period she made one of our folk songs very popular, the song called Mungu Twani. Yeah. And unfortunately, you couldn't pronounce it. And we said to you, Let's call it the click song, the click which song. goes like this: Lika ichalentela, o bati o kongo twani. Ichalentela, o bati o kongo twani. Kabla kuleki tapa, haya yu kongo twani. Kabla kuleki tapa, hi hi. And that is how we as Kosas were first introduced to the world and we today say to you again, one Kelele welcome home. And as a people, we want to say thanks for, and I should say to all of you, thanks for being remembered. As we have been a dismembered society, that's why you are in the diaspora. And I say also through your visit, you restore our self-worth as a people, because it is said the people that is not visited by other people, that people becomes questionable. And for many years, living in the townships, we were denied access. It is also you that bring face to places that we only hear about. So 
you help us to travel. It is also that through your visits that you give us a sense of belonging. So that I say to you, the visits to, to the township is not coming to look at us, but it's coming to say, we share a common destiny. That is what it's all about. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be pussyfooting <laughs> what white man's history and telling you history. I don't care about his story. It's about our story now. Yeah. yeah. So, and I ask yourself the question. Please feel free to question. Yeah. My name, Tando. I was born. 100 meters, um, 150 meters to the north. I was born inside the city. My mother was incarcerated in 1957, defying the past laws, which these people that say they speak history, they don't care. They don't know. It's for them, it's proud to be a colored because it means they're it better. Down. It's better. I've got a European blood in me, and I've got That's Indian right. blood That's in right. me. Yeah. Not to identify yourself with Africa because we are inferior. Yeah, you're right, brother. Yes, brother, yes. yes. Any right. questions or comments? You, and you say you'll never accept that terminology colored. No, I can never embrace it. No. Oh, and so, any questions or comments? Because it's about you. We appreciate you. It's, yes, it's about you. Finding you. you. This journey yes. is finding yourself. Finding yes. meaning. Yes, right. Yeah. Yes. And we're not going to pussy foot around here. Yes, now, now start to ask you questions. Pertinent questions. Because our, the reason why we're doing these tours is to dissipate ignorance. Because out of, because of, it is through, through ignorance that they prejudge us. That's why we are prejudiced. That's why they, we are being prejudiced because they preach at us in their ignorance. They generalize about us, and it is generally lies that it. That's why they generalize. Yeah. Yeah. Like calling himself discovered, saying that they discovered yeah. this, discovered that. And, and okay. who discovered me in being already there? Uh, already there. I'm gonna, <laughs> and now you're gonna tell me somebody has discovered this area? No way, man. Like this area was already I mean, when they landed. And you, huh? And you, yeah. I And honestly, how can you tell me that the Dutch were brought slaves here? The, the Dutch, the slaves that they brought here, were the East Asians that they brought, they, when they invaded yeah. the Spice Islands of Java, Malacca, Indonesia, they captured those people and brought them here. here. Yeah, because they couldn't enslave us. The very first thing they did to strip Africa was by taking you. Because the biggest resource of Africa is human. Yes. Yes. Human and, then, resource. and then they came to rape us afterwards, and they still doing it today. And we just put it around. Right. Yeah. Okay, revolution. That's right. Yes. But Let us continue. Any questions or comments? The revolution continues. Now, okay. Okay.